One of our bloggers published a post bearing the headline, BYOD is nothing more than a 30-year journey back in time. And blogger George Kenez is spot on. I was there on the ground floor of a publication called PC Week in 1983 when PCs were sneaking in corporate back doors and circumventing the IT department. That is, for the few managers that could afford the steep $3,000 price tag, primarily so they could run Lotus 123 spreadsheets. The proliferation of PCs created the same chaos that is keeping CIOs awake nights with BYOD. It took upward of a decade for order to be applied as PCs steadily eroded the dominance of the mini computers and mainframes. Looking back even further, many computers, which were not all that small as their name implies, challenged mainframes. Minis, as they were called, and PCs were classic disruptive technologies. So once Big Iron was largely pushed out of the way, PCs and servers based on the PC architecture, a la Intel and Microsoft, became dominant. Now the princely PC is being seriously challenged on all fronts by smartphones, Android, iOS, and tablets. But there are striking similarities between the PC's early days and BYOD. IT is trying to stay relevant as the BYOD gatekeeper, just as it did with PCs. IT is raising red flags about applying security and governance and order to the BYOD movement just as mainframe bigots, as I like to call them, claim PCs threatened order in the American way. IT is trying to convince the ever more crowded C-suite that unchecked BYOD will bring chaos. But there are also differences, namely scale. Whereas PCs were not affordable to many, smartphones are. Indeed, IDC forecasts that a billion will be sold this year, and the number will soar to 1.7 billion two years from now. Apps for PCs were expensive too. Apps for smartphones cost pennies in comparison, and there are hundreds of thousands of them. In hindsight, the PC movement was controllable. We have no idea if BYOD is. So the scale and speed of BYOD growth are daunting to the point where just as IT gets its arms around the problem, it morphs into something else. How will BYOD play out? It took IT perhaps five to eight years to get their arms around the PC. IT doesn't have as much time to effectively minimize the risk of BYOD and maximize its value. Clearly, any policy must be flexible enough to accommodate the scale and speed with which BYOD is happening. But take heart, it has happened before. What do you think? I'm John Dodge, Community Manager of the Enterprise CIO Forum. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.